quick video update with the transmitter um, incandescent light bulb and this ball titanium polished titanium ball just sits on top of the transmitter not even electrically connected I can take this incandescent light bulb and it will light up look at this to extreme brightness in my hand look at that very bright and it gives off a lot of heat putting the ball on top also increases the range I can just lay a fluorescent tube there and it's lit and if I connect this to earth ground it would get brighter like the range is incredible just from the ball like, look at this range it's nuts and it's interfering with my phone a bit and the other crazy thing I discovered is I can take this discharge tube lamp thing that doesn't ignite unless you have like one amp at a thousand volts going through it and it will activate randomly in my hand like look at that and at good distance too how nuts is that that shouldn't even activate <clears throat> is that nuts Not sure if that effect has been recorded before. Literally just a guess. Discharge tube. High. High uh, amperage. So I'll remove the ball. And I'll show you the other cool thing that I discovered. If I put this big fluorescent just leaning here like that. Going up. Like that's pretty bright. I can then take this fluorescent and do this like how weird and nuts is that <clears throat> I'll shut my light off <clears throat> now you can see that properly it's right on my bed oh shit hold on I'm dropping that okay here we go so how nuts is that like look at the look at that it's like it extended it Oh, and we have some wireless receivers lit up, too. That are connected between earth, ground, and the desk. And some of the ones up here are lit. Not as bright as they could be, but they're lit. And other people who've purchased the kits have experienced all these effects and lit up some of their rooms. So, I have... Other people who verified these strange effects, other labs that verified it, it's all really cool shit. <clears throat> and it just keeps getting more perfected and better and better. I sell a large version of this kit for $400 plus shipping, and the small version for $200 plus shipping. And this is just nuts, like look at this. The big fluorescent tube is extending the range. Like, I, I don't know if that's been discovered before, but look at that. Nuts, huh? And if I touch it to it, it gets really bright. Everything gets bright. <clears throat> I'll turn my light back on. And this thing gets very hot doing this. That's incredible range. Wish I had a heat meter to show you. Touch my cat with it. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I'm pretty good distance away. Crazy shit. <clears throat> Next, I will run this light bulb off of that part of the drive circuitry that I discovered. <clears throat> it's just a bridge rectifier. All it is is a bridge rectifier connected to the L1 
And the AC side of the bridge rectifier connects to both ends of the L1. It's that simple. DC side has some capacitors across it to run the load. It's literally all it is. <coughs> and you don't need that many. I just needed that many for decent storage of the power to run the light bulb. You can use one big one. Although I wouldn't use too big of one. And something to note is if you don't have a rectifier coming off of the L1, if you use like a half wave rectifier, you will blow the transistor. You need the rectifier. It isolates the um, the power from the transistor with the full bridge rectifier. So I'll connect this up and it will run the load. I can see the contacts. There we go. And this light bulb normally consumes 4 watts plugged in normally from the wall. Running it off of this, running it this way, it only consumes one extra watt from the circuitry. So there's a power savings. And you got real usable house power here. Square wave, 120 volt DC. It's more like 140 volt DC though. <coughs> the light bulb's slightly brighter than normal. <coughs> God damn. Got some allergies today, and some of the wireless receivers are lit. And we can still make plasma and do all this crazy stuff. Like, look at that. No degradation. Still got wireless power. It loves the metal ball, it loves anything metal. Just having too much fun. Whoop. Oh, so I ground it, it gets brighter. Uh, I don't want to show anything else. Oh, yeah, I can run a small motor with it. <coughs> this thing is like a. Pretty sure this thing's a 5 watt motor. Hold on. Kick, literal kickstart. <laughs> it's a running. Still got wireless power. So yeah, it can run motors. When you properly rectify the power to DC. And it's kind of torquey. I mean, it's moving an object. I don't have a way to measure the torque, but it's not much. I'll hook up an incandescent to it normally. And this is where it gets weird. It won't run it fully, but it will run it. Well, no, no, I think that is full, because this isn't a very bright incandescent. I think that's just normal operation. These are soft incandescents. Oh, come on, that means... So yeah, when I did, when I put the ball up here, and then I touched the incandescent to it that way, it got way too over bright. Like, that thing's almost burning out. Yeah, like, that's almost burning out. <coughs> so now I will demonstrate running this off of a fully charged battery. Power supply is off. Power supply is off and disconnected. On, for those doubting, this thing's completely portable. I've shown that in my older videos. This thing is completely portable. Take my battery. The coil around it was when I was trying to have it self-loop itself. 
<clears throat> Don't quite have the right components for that yet. So I'll connect it to the battery. It's also reverse polarity protected. I might have to drop the, well no, maybe not. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put you guys up here. Well, that's bad, that would blow up. Um, I'm gonna put you right here. No. All right, I'm gonna connect. Well, no, I don't like the fact that you can't see anything. <clears throat> I'm gonna do like this, and I'm gonna connect it. So hopefully that's in frame. Okay, we are on. Running off the battery. I think it's portable. Light is lit. A lot of interference. Receivers are lit. Still same incredible wireless power. You can put the ball on top. And actually I like that, things got brighter. And ba boom. Everything is getting brighter when I do this. Remove the ball. Show this tube that shouldn't even do these effects. We have to put it in here for it to start. No. The battery might not be high enough voltage to do this. It's kind of rare these effects even occurred. I'm going to disconnect the light and see if it works. <clears throat> Although it shouldn't have any effect. Yeah, no, it might not be high enough voltage. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get it to ignite. Being difficult. Works off the power supply, though. Probably need a higher voltage. So yeah, you see that it's completely portable. And that's all I wanted to show. Uh, good day, and if you want to order it, contact mtechindustries2022 at gmail.com to buy one. Like I said, the big model is $400 plus shipping, and the small model right here is $200 plus shipping. Still both do amazing effects. All kits come with the transmitter itself, the DC supply to run it, and three of these wireless receiver lights. <clears throat> and you also have to connect a large metal body to this part of the circuit. I mean, there'll be a green connector that comes off with the kit. And you can either connect it to earth ground or a large metal body and you're set to go. Yeah, thank you.